brothers and sisters in Christ, this is for you. God said you have one last chance to renounce and repent. One last chance to renounce and repent. He's making it plain and simple for you to see who is the wheat and who is the tear. You have one last chance to repent. Sometimes as prophets, we'd be like, is that only me? Is God really saying this, ministering this to my spirit? I didn't come up with this on my own. I was preparing for bed. I'm going to study my word. And God said they have one more chance. We all do. We have one more chance to do the inventory in our life and get rid of any and everything and everyone that we have attached and aligned ourselves with. God is not playing. Jesus Christ is soon to return. And God said, this is the final call. Because then he's going to give you over to your strong delusions. Don't believe me? Read the word. He's going to give you over to strong delusions because you refuse to follow the truth. You refuse to obey the word of God. You have one more opportunity to do this unto the Lord. It's time to get rid of things and people who do not align with the word of God and what he has called you to do. False prophets, false teachers, false doctrine, idolizing celebrities and, and, and pastors and singers and all of this stuff. God said this is your last chance to repent because if he gives you over to strong delusions, there's no praying out of it. Once God does it, that means time is up. It's a wrap. He gave you enough time and you refuse to listen. So he gave you over to those strong delusions that you chose over him. Repent. Repent for what you've done and allowed yourself to do. And then renounce any and everything that you came into covenant and agreement with. Whether it was a covenant or agreement through prayer, through sowing, through an amen. It's time for us to go through our spiritual repertoire. And make sure everything aligns with the word of God. That we're not operating out of a false doctrine, a false teaching, a fa false anointing. You understand what I'm saying? One more time. You have one more time. This is your last time before God starts executing the other part of the scripture. We have to walk in obedience. We have to walk in holiness. We are set apart. We are called to be different, not to blend in, not to fit in, not to be popular. We are called to be different. So repent and renounce and turn back to the one true living God. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the way, the truth, and the life. You better go through him or you're going to go to hell along with the false teachers, preachers, prophets that you follow. Repent and renounce in Jesus name.